மறக்காம லைக் பண்ணுங்க ஷேர் பண்ணுங்க கமெண்ட் பண்ணுங்க சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்க நன்றி வணக்கம் நம்பர் ஒன் ஹார்கோபின் கொரோனா ஆல்சோ கான்ட்ரிபியூட் டு ஜெனடிக் என்ஜினியரிங் பை சின்சசைசிங் ஜீன் சிந்தைஸ் இஸ் தி ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் அன் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியலி டிசைன்ட் ஜீன் இன் டு எ ஃபிசிக்கல் டிஎன்ஏ சீக்வன்ஸ் ஜீன் சிந்தைஸ் வாஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டெமான்ஸ்ட்ரேட்டட் பை ஹர்கோபின் கொரோனா இன் த இயர் ஆஃப் நைன்டீன் செவன்டி ஃபார் எ ஷார்ட் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் ஜீன் ஸோ த ஆன்சர் ஃபார் திஸ் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் டி கொஸ்ட் நம்பர் டூ விச் ஆஃப் தி ஃபாலோயிங் சிஸ்டம் ரிட்டர்ன்ஸ் தி பிளட் ஃப்ரம் தி இன்டஸ்டைன் டு தி லிவர் ஹெபாட்டிக் போர்டல் சிஸ்டம் இஸ் தி சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் வெயின்ஸ் comprising the hepatic portal vein and its tributaries the portal venous system is responsible for directing blood from parts of the gastrointestinal tract to the liver substances absorbed in a small intestine travel first to the liver for processing before continuing the heart not all of the gastrointestinal tract is part of the system the system extends from about the lower portion of the esophagus to the upper part of the anal canal it also includes venous drainage from the spleen and the pancreas so the answer for this question is option b hepatic portal system question number 3 the energy that is released by the hydrolysis of atp by actin is used for actin monomers or the g actin polymerases to form actin filaments or f actin the first step in the polymerization is the formation of dimers and trimers this further grows to form the long chains the actin monomers requires atp molecules to get polymerized and form the actin filament so the answer for this question is option a actin filament assembly let's go for question number 4 the great barrier reef along the east coast of australian can be categorized as the great barrier reef the largest system of coral reefs in the world is more than 2000 km in length and comprises 2900 separate reefs and 940 islands its high species diversity includes more than 400 species of coral 4000 species of mollusk 1500 species of fishes 6 species of turtles 35 species of uh, sea birds and 23 species of sea mammals the great barrier reef is one of the richest and most complex natural system in the world the reefs diverse range of habitats all connects and support each other which means they are all vital to the life of the great barrier reef so the answer for this question is option c ecosystem let us go for question number 5 the most important human activity leading to the extinction of wildlife is habitat alteration and natural habitat causes the destruction of breeding grounds shelter and sources of food destruction of natural habitat is the primary threat to biodiversity natural habitats which protect natural flora and fauna are being converted to human settlements harbors dams reservoirs croplands green grounds and mining sites deforestation deprives animal life of shelter and food this decreases the population of many species migratory animals are also affected by deforestation because of the disturbance in the roads so the answer for this question is option a alteration and destruction of the natural habitats question number 6 the seminal fluid coagulates on ejaculation due to after ejaculation within 15 minutes the semen coagulates the calcium and fibrinogen helps in seminal clotting and forms globules 
thus helps to keep the ejaculated sperm in the female reproductive tract after about some 30 to 40 minutes prostate specific antigen present in the semen causes the decoagulation of the semen the initial clotting keeps the semen active in the acidic environment of the vagina while decoagulation or liquefaction frees the sperm to make their journey to the ova so the answer for this question is option c calcium and fibrinogen contents from prostatic and seminal vesicles secretions respectively question number 7 secondary cell wall grows by in mature cells more layers of wall material are added internal to the primary wall and they are called as secondary wall growth by the addition of new wall material on the primary wall is called as accretion it has more cellulose and less hemicellulose the secondary wall is thick and ridged it is usually consists of three layers which are often named as s1 s2 and s3 it is found in colon chyma and sclerenchyma cells xylem vessels the secondary cell wall grows by apposition in this method new cell wall material secreted by the protoplasm is deposited as definite thin plates one after the other on the inner surface of the original wall so the answer for this question is option c apposition question number eight which of the following is not an antibiotic produced by bacteria? Grisofulvin is the antifungal agent produced by the fungi Penicillium grisofulvum used in the treatment of uh, dermatopoietic fungi. Second one is Basitracin is the antibiotic produced by the bacteria Bacillus subtilis and used to treat the gram positive bacterial infection then the next, next one is polymyxin B is produced by Bacillus polymyxa and it is used to treat the gram negative bacterial infection. Ampotericin B is an antifungal agent produced by the bacteria Streptomyces nodosus and used to treat the fungal infection. So the correct option is option C Grisofulvin. Then the next question is question number 9. The elementary sulfur is present in Amino acids are ampiteric in nature, both acidic and alkyl groups present. Sulfur containing amino acids are cysteine, methionine and cysteine is non-protein amino acids. So the answer for this question is option D. Homocysteine, cysteine and methionine question number 10 the amount of water required to form one molecule of glucose in a photosynthetic reaction is so while you are seeing the diagrammatic representation you can able to understand the given reaction a summary of photosynthesis is required you know six carbon dioxide molecule and 12 h2o molecule in the presence of light energy Give C6, H12O6 and 6 O2 molecule and 6 H2O molecule. 12 molecules of water are required to form 1 molecule of glucose during photosynthesis. So the answer for this question is option D. 12 molecules. Question number 11. Which one of the following organism is not an obligate aerobe? Abyssala pneumonia is a gram negative Enteritic bacterium, which is non motile, encapsulated, lactose uh, fermenting. Lebicella pneumonia is a gram negative enteric bacterium, which is non motile, encapsulated, lactose fermenting. That means produces acid and gas from lactose. Facultat facultative anaerobic, oxidase negative, rod shaped bacterium. So the answer for this question is. Option B. Lebicella pneumoniae. Question number 12. 
the respiratory quotient varies due to the value of respiratory quotient always depends upon the chemical nature of the substrate in respiration many types of high energy compound are oxidized these are called respiratory substrates or respiratory fuel and include carbohydrates fats and proteins carbohydrates such as glucose fructose it is commonly called as exoses sucrose it is uh, example for uh, disaccharide a starch insulin hemicellulose examples for polysaccharides etc are the main substrates the energy present in 1 gram carbohydrate is 4.4 kilo calories or in 1 gram carbohydrate that is you know 18.4 kilo joule under certain conditions mainly when carbohydrate reserves have been exhausted fats are also oxidized the energy present in 1 gram of fat is 9.8 kilo calories or 41 kilo joules in the absence of carbohydrates and fats proteins also serves as respiratory substrate the energy present in 1 gram of protein is 4.8 kilo calories or 20 kilo joules so the answer for this question is option a respiratory substrates and a question number 13 the slime molds are characterized by the presence of slime molds or the plasmodium of a slime mold is formed by the fusion of myxamoeba or swarm cells that act as gametes myxamoeba possesses pseudopodia and a amoeba like appearance and behavior elaters and pseudoelaters are present in some bryophytes whereas capitulum is a type of inflorescence so the answer for this question is option c mix amoeba question number 14 observe the diagram given below and identify a and b ampimixis is the sexual reproduction where the two gametes for two parents fuse to produce the offspring parthenogenesis generally called as parthenos mean virgin genesis mean descent it is the development of new individual from a single gamete without fusion with another gamete parthenogenesis is the process of production of offspring from the unfertilized eggs and it is commonly observed among invertebrates so the answer for this question is option b A one is uh, ampimixis, B is parthenogenesis. Question number fifteen. The the ligand commonly known as reindeer moss is Cladonia rangiferina is the ligand that is commonly known as the reindeer moss, and this is found growing luxuriantly in tundra region where the reindeer are also abundantly found. These are terricolor ligand. found growing on soil so the answer for this question is option b cladonia question number 16 which of the following part of the human brain is also called as emotional brain limbic system present on the inner border of the cerebrum a floor of diencephalon is also called as emotional brain or animal brain it controls emotion animal behavior like uh, sniffing sexual feelings pain pleasure etc so the answer is option b limbic system question number 17 the endospores are formed in the following genera an endospore is a dormant tough and non reproductive internal structure produced by some bacteria and archaea bacteria endospore formation is more common in rod shaped bacteria or bacillus forms so the answer for this question is option a bacillus and clostridium question number 18 fresh water is maximum used in 
Fresh water is naturally occurring water other than sea water and brackish water. Fresh water includes water in ice sheets, ice caps, glaciers, icebergs, bogs, ponds, lakes, rivers, streams and ground water. Fresh water is maximum used in agriculture. So the correct option is option C agriculture. Question number 19. Read the following statements and select the correct option. So here there are uh, two statements are given. Taxonomist have developed subcategories to make the taxonomic position of species more precise and specific categories are added to this list. They are called intermediate categories. For example, subkingdom, subphylum, superdivision, subdivision, superclass, subclass, suborder, superorder and superfamily, subfamily, tribe, subspecies, variety etc. All protozoans are compulsorily heterotropic. They derive nutrients from other organisms by completely ingressing the left out organic remains or waste products. The protozoans perform pagocytosis and engulf their organic particles by forming pseudopodia or directly taking food through specialized mouth called as cytostome. Protozoans are basically free living and often found in freshwater, brackish water or salt water, parasitic and symbiotic protozoans are also present and they live within other organisms. So the answer for this question is option B. Only A is correct from the given two statement. Question number 20. Nitrifying bacteria. Nitrifying bacteria that is uh, one of the chemosynthetic bacteria oxidize ammonia obtain energy for the preparation of food. This oxidation occurs in two steps. In the first step ammonia is oxidized to nitrite by nitrite bacteria example nitrosomonas and nitrococcus. In the second step nitrite is oxidized to nitrate by nitrate bacteria example nitrocystis and nitrobacter. So the correct option is option D. Oxidize ammonia to nitrates. Question number 21. The thymus glands secrete the DASH hormone called DASH which play a major role in the differentiation of DASH type of lymphocytes. Thymosin is the peptide hormone secreted by the thymus gland. This hormone stimulates the development of T cells or T lymphocytes. Thymus is the place where the T cells gets activated as they are produced in bone marrow cells. So the answer for this question is option C. The thymus gland secretes the peptide hormone called thymosin which play a major role in differentiation of T lymphocytes. The next question number 22. Which of the arrangement of meninges is correct? That is inside to outside. Meninges are the connective tissue membrane which protects the central nervous system and projections of its structure. These membranes are uh, pyometer, that is uh, thinnest wall, arachnoid, thin, webbly and slightly vascularized and dura matter, the outermost double layer, thick and non-vascular. So the answer for this question is option C, pyometer, arachnoid membrane and dura matter. Question number 23. In lung, maximum gaseous exchange is due to maximum gaseous exchange between blood that is dissolved phase and alveolar lungs. Air gaseous space across respiratory membrane occurs by simple diffusion. 
the exchange depends upon the concentration gradient that means partial pressure of the concentrated gases in blood and alveolar air both oxygen and carbon dioxide are highly and equally soluble in lipid and hence easily diffusible through the cell membrane in passive transport and ion on molecules crossing a membrane moves down its concentration gradient and no metabolic energy is consumed facilitated diffusion is a special type of passive transport where the specific permeases in membrane facilitate facilitate the crossing of solutes active transport uses a specific transport protein called as pumps which use metabolic energy that is atp to move ions or molecule against the concentration gradient so the answer for this question is option a simple diffusion number 24 the tissue with the power of division and regeneration throughout life is epithelial tissue covers the outside of the body and lines of organ cavities the tissue always rest upon underlying connective tissues and are closely packed with each other so there is a very little intracellular space due to absence or less of intracellular spaces blood vessels lymph vessels and capillaries are unable to pierce this tissue so blood circulation is absent in epithelium hence cells depends on their nutrients on underlying connective tissue the cells of this tissue can divide throughout life with high regeneration capacity as they process the stem cells so the answer for this question is option a epithelial tissue question number 25 rennet enzyme was purified by rennet is a complex set of enzymes produced by ruminant mammals chymosin pepsin and lipase are the main component of this enzyme rennet enzyme was purified for the first time by christian hansen in the year of 1874 from calf stomach and it is especially used during cheese formation so the answer is option d Christian Hansen Question number 26 Which one of the following does not act as neurotransmitter epinephrine or adrenaline nor epinephrine or nor adrenaline and acetylcholine are the neurotransmitters these are released by the nerve fibers to transmit the impulse to the next neuron cortisone is not the neurotransmitter so the correct option is cortisone question number 27 the kind of evolution in which two species of different genealogy come to resemble one another closely is termed as progressive evolution is the development of uh, organisms with more elaborate and specialized structures from those having less elaborate features example amphibians from reptiles regressive or degenerative evolution is development of simple forms from more complex ones such evolution has occurred in case of vestigial organs parasitic forms and in the reduction of over specialized structures such as wings in the flightless birds parallel evolution is the formation of similar uh, trains in related groups of organisms independently due to similar requirements example for example running of two that is a toad deer and one toad os two kinds of evolution in which two species of different genealogy that means a line of descendant traced continuously from an ancestor come to resemble one another closely is termed as uh, convergent evolution evolution of wings in insects and birds serve as example of convergent evolution so the answer for this question is option b
convergent evolution question number 28 identify the molecule a and b shown below and select the right option giving their source and use they represent the structure of morpine morpine is the most abundant alkaloid found in opium the dried sap that means uh, that is latex derived from shallow leaves slicing the unripe seed pods of the opium are common and edible poppy that is papaver somniferum morpine is a potent and opiate analgesic drug that is used to relieve severe pain the structure b represent cannabinoids and these are a group of chemicals which interact with the cannabinoid receptors present uh, principally in the brain natural cannabinoids are obtained from the influence of a plant cannabis sativa generally taken by inhalation and oral ingestion these are known for their effects on cardiovascular system of the body so the the correct option is option d a1 represented as morpine this uh, source is papaver somniferum use sedative and pain killer question number 29 elisa is used to detect viruses where elisa test is a technique used to detect and quantitate extremely small amount of a protein antibody or antigen with the help of enzyme the commonly used enzymes are peroxidase and alkaline phosphatase southern blotting and dna probes are used in molecular analysis of dna catalase is not involved in elisa so the answer for this question is option c alkaline phosphatase is the key reagent question number 30 from which embryonic structure develops the vertebral column the notochord develops into the vertebral column in vertebrates the notochord lies along with the to the dorsal surface of the animal notochord is composed of cells derived from the mesoderm so the answer for this question is option c notochord question number 31 which of the following is a secondary pollutant o3 is a secondary pollutant it is called as secondary pollutant because it is produced when two primary pollutants react in sunlight and stagnant air these two primary pollutants are nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds so the correct option for this question is option d o3 Question number thirty-two. Gibberellic acid has been successfully used to induce flowering. Gibberellins produce a wide range of physiological responses in the plants. Their ability to cause an increase in length of axis. It is used to increase the length of grape stalks. Gibberellins cause fruits like apple to elongate and improve its shape. They also delay senescence. thus the fruit can be left on of the tree longer so as to extend the market period gibberellins also replace the long day requirement of flowering so the answer for this question is option b in long day plants under short day conditions question number 33 find the correct match with respect to habitat loss when a species become extinct the plant and animal species associated with it in an obligatory way also become extinct when a, when a host fish species become extinct its unique assemblage of parasites also meets the same fate another example is the case of a coevolved plant pollinator mutualism where extinction of one 
invariably leads to the extinction of the other so the answer for this question is option a plant pollinator mutualism co-extinction question number 34 zygomorphic flowers found in when a flower can be divided into two similar halls one in one particular vertical plan it is a zygomorphic example p gulmer bean etc so the answer for this question is option b gulmer question number 35 read the following statements here there are four statements are given from the four statements how many statements are wrongly given statement 1 and 2 are correct whereas the statement 3 and 4 are incorrectly given we are saying all the four statements 1 and 2 are correctly given 3 and 4 are incorrectly given the small intestine is the most important absorbing organ in the gastrointestinal tract about 90 percentage of nutrients absorption takes place in a small intestine Constipation. In constipation, the metabolic waste are retained within the rectum as the bowel movement occur irregularly. Gross calorific value of fat is 8.8 kilo calorie per gram. Serosa is the outermost layer and it is made up of a thin mesothelium. It is epithelium of visceral organ with some connective tissues. The innermost layer lining the lumen of the alimentary canal is the mucosa lining layer. So from the given statements 1 and 2 are correct whereas 3 and 4 are incorrect. So the correct option is option C. Two statements are correct and two statements are wrong. Question number 36. Hugo de Vries formulated the mutation theory based on the experiments he conducted on. Hugo de Vries observed a number of mutation in his experimental plant evening primrose Enothera lamarckiana. So the correct option is option D Enothera lamarckiana. Question number 37. The following pedigree chart. Find the incorrect match from the following. In autosomal or sex-linked dominant genetic diseases, it can be observed in each generation, usually without skipping a generation. So the answer for this question is option B. From the given diagrammatic representation, B is autosomal or sex-linked dominant. So the answer for this question is option B. Question number 38. Which one of the following is not related with transpiration pull theory? A number of theories have been put forward to explain asentopsia. Transpiration pull, it is generally called as cohesion. Cohesion theory is most widely accepted theory. This theory is most widely accepted theory. This theory is based on cohesive force adhesive force and transpiration pull capillarity theory describes the xylem vessels to behave like the capillary tubes this capillarity of the vessels and the normal atmospheric pressure are responsible for the ascent of sap due to the surface tension of liquid molecule and adhesive forces the liquid rises up the finer the tube the greater will be the rise of water in it it is associated with water translocation in xylem vessels so the answer for this question is option a capillarity theory question number 39 match the following column one with column two the chromosomes become arranged on the metapase plate much as the chromosomes do in mitosis and are attached to the now fully formed spindle. In metapase 2, 
the centromeres contain two kinetochores that attach to spindle fibers from the centromere at opposite poles. The new equatorial metaphase plate is rotated by 90 degrees when compared to meiosis 1 perpendicular to the previous plate. Disjunction of chromosomes takes place in anaphase 1 and anaphase 2 when chromosomes move to the opposite poles of the cell. Plectonemic coiling refers to the intertwining of double helix DNA molecule in such a way that for its correction, unwinding of DNA helix molecule is required. This takes place in mitosis in which sister chromatids are tightly coiled upon each other. In the zygotin stage, homologous login to snaps by coming to approximate alignment. So the correctly matching option is option A. Question number 40. Which of the following is a isogamous plant producing non-flagellated gametes? Sexual reproduction takes place through fusion of two gametes. These gametes can be flagellated and similar in size as in chlamydomonas or non-flagellated that means non-motile but similar in size as in spirogyra such as reproduction is called as isogamous fusion of two gametes dissimilar in size as in some species example chlamydomonas is termed as anisogamous fusion between one large non-motile female gamete and a smaller motile male gamete termed as oogamous example volvox fucus so the answer for this question is option a spirogyra question number 41 the picture given below depicts the phenomena of atropia of plant. Find the incorrect statement with reference to the same. Plants follow different pathways in response to environment or phases of life to form different kinds of structures. This ability is called plasticity. For example, heteropyly in cotton, coriander and larkspur. In such plants, the leaves of the zonile plant are different in shape from those in mature plants. On the other hand, difference in shapes of leaves produced in air and those produced in water in buttercup plant also represent the heteropilous development due to environment. This phenomenon of heteropily is an example of plasticity. So the correct option for this question is option B. The appearance of leaf. A is due to the developmental changes underwent by the plant in a terrestrial habitat. Question number 42. Match the following with respect to chromosomal mutation. A trisomy is a form of aneuploidy with the presence of 4 copies instead of normal 2. That is 2n plus 2 double aneuploidy leading to trisomy or monosomy of two different chromosomes arises because of two meiotic non-disjunctional events 2n plus 1 plus 1 in hypoploidy having a chromosome number lower by only a few chromosomes than the normal diploid number is 2n minus 1 allo polyploids or polyploids with chromosomes derived from different species. Precisely, it is the result of multiplying the chromosome number in an F1 hybrid. So, the correctly matching option is option B. Question number 43. What would be the heart rate of a person if the cardiac output is 5 liter? blood volume in the ventricle at the end of diastole is 100 ml and at the end of ventricular systole is 50 ml. So the answer for this question is option C 100 beats per minute is a correct option for this question. Question number 44 Match the following and choose the correct combination from the options given. 
see the column 1 and column 2 E. coli bacteria is given it is used to produce human insulin and the option B is rhizobium melilloti that contain nitrogen fixing gene bacillus thuringiensis is used as a biodegradable insecticide pseudomonas putida is used to break down of hydrocarbons of crude oil so the correctly matching option is option D question number 45 study the graph given below and choose the option that is correctly describing the relationship between dissolved oxygen and biochemical oxygen demand Biochemical oxygen demand or BOD is the amount of dissolved oxygen needed by aerobic biological organism in a body of water to break down organic material present in a given water sample at certain temperature over a specific time period. DO that means dissolved oxygen is the amount of oxygen dissolved in water when BOD is high it means there is a lot of, is a lot of organic contaminant in the water and the microbes are working over time to break it down the use of oxygen while doing this so when BOD is high dissolved oxygen is low when the microbes finish breaking down the organic contaminants their numbers drop from lack of food uh, low BOD dissolved oxygen usually go back up again high BOD would cause high mortality rate among aquatic animals the excessive of nutrients would facilitate algal growth causing algal bloom the correct option is option C question number 46 with respect to the Amazonian rainforest a few estimations of various organisms are listed below which of these estimations are incorrect here there are five estimations are given the largely tropical amazonian rainforest in south america has greatest biodiversity on earth it is home to more than 40000 species of plants 3000 species of fishes 1300 of birds 427 of mammals 427 of amphibians 378 reptiles and of more than 1,25,000 invertebrates scientists estimate that in these rainforest there might be at least 2 million insect species waiting to be discovered and named from the given five options B C and E are incorrectly given. So the answer for this question is option C. Question number 47. Which one of the following statement is incorrect about menstruation? Normal menstrual blood does clot. Menstrual blood contains not only blood but also tissues from the lining of the uterus. The female body typically releases anticoagulants to keep menstrual blood from clotting as it being released. But when the period is heavy and blood being rapidly expelled, there is not enough time for anticoagulants to work that enables clot to form. So the answer for this question is option D. The menstrual fluid can easily clot. Then the next question is question number 48. Which one of the following pairs of codons incorrectly match with their function or the signal for the particular amino acid? GCU indicates alanine, but GUU indicates valine. Stop codons are UAG, UGA, and UAA. AUG is the most common start codon which does form methionine. UUA indicates leucine but UAC indicates serine. So the answer for this question is option B.
यू ए जी यू जी ए स्टॉप क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन द लैटरल रूट डेवलप फ्रॉम प्रेमोडियो ऑरिजिनेटेड बाय द डिविशन ऑफ रूट इज द पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट बॉडी व्हिच ग्रोस एंड डाउन इनटू अर्थ द प्राइमरी रूट्स डेवलप फ्रॉम रेडिकल एंड गिव्स सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शरी रूट्स लैटरल रूट्स डेवलप एंडोजीनसली फ्रॉम पेरीसाइकल so the answer for this question is option b pericycle cells lying between two protoxylem points question number 50 the graph below shows the changes in two populations of herbivores in grassy field a possible reasons for these changes is that if a population b increased while population a decreased these organisms were probably in competition for the same food that is grass and population b was better adapted as the population a is competitively being excluded from the population answer for this question is option a population b competed more successfully for food than population a did question number 51 given below is the diagrammatic representation of female reproductive system ए रिप्रेजेंटेड एज ओवरी बी फिम्ब्री ए सी यूट्रस डी फेलोपियन ट्यूब फेलोपियन ट्यूब इज अदरवाइज कॉल्ड एज ओविडक यूट्रेन ट्यूब इज एदर ऑफ ए पैर ऑफ ट्यूब्स दट कंडक्ट ओवा दट मीन एग सेल फ्रॉम दि ओवरी टू दि यूट्रस दि ओवेरियन एंड ओपन इन टू दि अबडामल कैविटी वै फनल शेप्ड स्ट्रक्चर वित् फिंगर लाइक प्रोजेक्शन कॉल्ड एज फिम्ब्री ए surrounding the opening movements of the fimbria at ovulation assist in directing the ovum to the fallopian tube so the answer for this question is option d help in the collection of ovum after ovulation question number 52 which of the following does not constitute appendicular skeleton in humans the appendicular skeleton is composed of 126 bones functionally it is involved in locomotion this lower limb and uh, manipulation of objects in environment that is upper limbs the frontal lobe located at the front of the brain is one of the four major lobes of the cerebral cortex in brain of mammals the sternum is a flat bone on the vertebral midline of thorax and is a part of the axial skeleton so the answer for this question is option d sternum question number 53 the telomeres of eukaryotic chromosomes consist of short sequences of telomeres or the non sticky terminal ends of the chromosomes it has heterochromatin and repetitive dna of guanine rich repeats so the answer for this question is option d guanine rich repeats question number 54 three floral diagrams are given here the respective families are assigned in the answer key find out the families which these diagrams belongs to the correctly matching option is option b floral formula a is belongs to astaceae floral formula b is belongs to solanaceae c is belongs to brassicaceae question number 55 observe the diagram of ts of young anther given here and find the incorrect match a epidermis b endothecium c middle layer this outer three wall layers perform the function of protection and help in digestion of anther to release the pollen d is tapetum is the innermost wall layer tapetum it nourishes the developing pollen grains e microspore mother cells so the correct answer for this question is option c question number 56 the callus culture and 
suspension culture are used to produce plantlets they are distinguished by the callus culture and the suspension culture both are in vitro techniques the callus is a group of an undifferentiated mass of cells whereas in suspension culture somatic embryo is differentiated so the answer for this question is option b in callus culture shoots are organized where in suspension culture somatic embryo is organized question number 57 both in cells and extracellular fluids diabasic phosphate and monobasic phosphate act as acid base buffers to maintain phosphate buffer system has two main components sodium salts of dihydrogen phosphate a weak acid monohydrogen phosphate a weak base this system is an effective acid base buffer to maintain hydrogen concentration of cellular fluid so the answer for this question is option d hydrogen concentration of cellular fluid question number 58 in which one of the following the genus name its two characters and its phylum are incorrectly matched mollusk are soft bodied animals bilaterally symmetric triploblastic and coelomate their soft body is covered by a calcareous shell and it is unsegmented with a distinct head muscular foot and visceral hump example pila it is commonly called as apple snail sepia cuttlefish pinctada pearl oyster etc so the answer for this question is option a question number 59 which of the following is correct regarding mineral ions absorption in plants all the mineral cannot be absorbed passively like water because minerals are present in the soil or charged particles which cannot be passed across the cell membrane and the concentration of the mineral in the soil is usually lower than that of a root hence mostly minerals is transported by active transport but passive absorption of mineral is also absorbed by facilitating diffusion for example potassium ions can be exchanged by hydrogen ions absorbed to the surface of cell membrane so the correct option for this question is option b most of the mineral ions are absorbed actively and some mineral ions are passively absorbed homo erectus in asia were ancestors of modern man a study variation of dna however suggested african origin of modern man what kind of observation on dna variation could suggest this genetic studies and fossil evidences show that archaic homo sapiens evolved to anatomically modern humans solely in africa between 2 lakhs and 60000 years ago that members of one branch of homo sapiens left africa by between 1 lakh 25000 and 60000 years ago and that over time these humans replaced earlier human population such as neanderthals and homo erectus the date of the earliest successful out of africa migration has generally been placed at 60000 years ago as suggested by genetics although migration out of the continent may have taken place as early as 1 lakh 25000 years ago according to arabian archaeology finds of tools in the region in contrast the out of africa models asserts that modern humans evolved relatively recently in africa migrated into euro asia and replaced all populations which had descended from homo erectus so the answer for this question is option b greater variations in africa than in asia question number 61 which of the following option is correct about gametes in case of 
ugemi fusion between one large non motile static that is female gamete and a smaller motile male gamete is termed as ugamous example valvax fucus so the correct option is option c male gamete motile female gamete is non motile question number 62 which one of the following is resistant to enzyme action a pollen grain is a partially germinated microspore representing the male gametophyte the pollen grains has two major wall layers one is exine which is the outer layer and chiefly composed of sporopollenin it is an organic polymer that is resistant to oxidation and leaching and the intine which is the inner layer and chiefly composed of fectocellulose so the answer is option d pollen exine question number 63 which of the following hormone are secreted by pars nervosa neurohypophysis it is commonly called as pars nervosa also known as posterior pituitary stores and release two hormones called as oxytocin and vasopressin which are actually synthesized by the hypothalamus and are transported axonally to neurohypophysis oxytocin act on the smooth muscles of our body and stimulates their contraction in females it stimulates vigorous contraction of the uterus at the time of childbirth and milk ejection from the mammary glands vasopressin acts mainly at the kidney and stimulates the reabsorption of water and electrolytes by distal tubules and thereby reduces the loss of water through urine it is called as diuresis hence it is also called as antidiuretic hormone or adh so the answer for this question is option d oxytocin vasopressin question number 64 Which of the following represent the characteristics of Entomophilus flower? Characteristics of Entomophilus flowers are flowers are large, brightly colored, and produce persistent fragrance. Flowers are more conspicuous. Smaller flowers are produced in compact group called as inflorescences. Flowers pollinated by bees are usually blue, purple, or yellow in color. The flowers pollinated by butterflies are most often red. Flowers secrete nectar. flowers secrete nectar which makes positive attraction to the insects like bees the pollens of insects pollinating flowers are sticky and spiny so the answer for this question is option b colorful fragrant and nectar rich question number 65 which of the following statement is incorrect about heart of cockroach heart of cockroach is present in the mid dorsal side of the body the heart is attached to the body wall by 12 pairs of artery muscles the heart is divided into 13 funnel shaped chambers of which 3 lie in thorax and 10 in abdomen region each chamber has a pair of opening at the sides called as ostia the ostia are guarded by walls which hallow the flow of blood from pericardial sinus into heart but not in the opposite direction during circulation blood flows into the heart through ostia the heart chambers contract one after the another rapidly and it is due to the contraction and relaxation of alary muscles this pushes the blood into the anterior aorta the anterior most heart chamber from out of the blood passes in the head sinus and into the other sinuses all the chambers of the heart are interconnected and their openings is guarded by a walls to maintain unidirection flow of blood so the answer for this question is option d it is myogenic that is incorrect one Question number sixty-six. In an ecosystem, the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis is termed as gross primary productivity. Is the amount of organic matter produced at a given length of time during photosynthesis? 
so the answer for this question is option b gross primary productivity question number 67 in fern sporangia are born on the sporangia develop in the group called as sorry sorry develop on the under surface of the leaves and leaflets laterally or marginally so the answer is option a margin of leaf Question number 68 A mature sieve tube differs from a vessel in The vessel is a long cylindrical tube like structure made up of many cells called as vessel members each with lignified walls and a large central cavity the vessel cells are also divided up protoplasm vessels members are interconnected through perforations in their common walls the presence of vessels is characterized uh, it is one of the characteristic feature of angiosperms sieve tube elements are also long tube like structures arranged longitudinally and are associated with the companion cells their end walls are perforated in sieve like manner to form the sieve plates a mature sieve element possesses a peripheral cytoplasm and a large vacuole but absence of nucleus so the answer is option b absence of lignified walls question number 69 which of the following condition will absorb in person suffering from sickle cell anemia in sickle cell anemia the codon instead of normal codon gag the messenger rna will contain the codon gug this is in turn will result in a mistake during translation in a healthy individual the codon gag on the messenger rna matches with the anti codon cuc on the transfer rna carrying the amino acid glutamic acid however if the mutated gene is present then gug on the messenger rna matches with anti codon cac on the transfer rna which carries the amino acid valine so the answer for this question is option d question number 70 filiform apparatus is a characteristic feature of filiform apparatus is a finger like projection in each synergid so the answer is option c synergid question number 71 all the following are the features of inkepin hormone except sertoli cells produce a glycoprotein called inkibin inkibin suppresses follicle stimulating hormone synthesis by anterior pituitary and that is a gonadotropin releasing hormone synthesis by hypothalamus thus normal release of testosterone is under negative feedback control so the answer is option b it stimulates follicle stimulating hormone secretion in males Question number seventy-two. Syngenesis condition is found in when stamens are united by their anthers and the filaments are free. The condition is called as syngenesis. It is found in the family Asteraceae. The survey is called as Compositae. The condition is an adaptation for entomophily. So the answer is option A, Asteraceae. Question number seventy-three. Two plants can be conclusively said to be belong to same species if they when the members of species are interfertile and produce fertile offspring so the answer is option d can reproduce freely with each other and form seeds question number 74 in contrast to annelids the platyhelminths show platyhelminths include flatworms there is no body cavity the animals are therefore acelomates annelids also have bilateral symmetry they are coelomate having perivisceral cavity divided into compartments so the answer is option a absence of body cavity question number 75 select the distinguishable characters of opura from balnoglossus all of the above characters common under the phylum echinodermata example opura but hemichordates 
example balano glasses are bilaterally symmetrical animals and they do not show the above characters so the answer is option d all of the above question number 76 as the dash molecules cannot pass through the dash lipid bilayer they require dash to facilitate their transport across the membrane choose the correct combinations respectively one of the most important function of the plasma membrane is transport of molecules across it the membrane is selectively permeable to some molecules present on either side of it many molecules can move briefly across the membrane without any requirement of energy and this is called the massive transport natural solutes may move across the membrane by process of simple diffusion along the concentration gradient from higher concentration to lower concentration water may also move across the membrane from higher to lower concentration movement of water by diffusion is called osmosis as the polar molecule cannot pass through non polar lipid bilayer they require a carrier pro carrier protein of the membrane to facilitate their transport across the membrane a yeah, few ions or molecules are transported across the membrane against the concentration gradient from lower concentration to higher concentration so the answer for this question is option b as the polar molecules cannot pass through the non polar lipid bilayer they require carrier proteins question number 77 the hemoglobin of human fetus the hemoglobin of human fetus has higher affinity to oxygen than that of the adult hemoglobin is a group of globular proteins occurring widely in animal as oxygen carrier in blood as a result the oxygen dissociation curve towards left so the answer for this question is option d as a higher affinity for oxygen than that of an adult and the oxygen dissociation curve in towards left question number 78 what is the role of nad in cellular respiration nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is a coenzyme found in all living cells and it is required for the fundamental biological processes that make life possible it function as an electron carrier so the answer is option b it functions as an electron carrier question number 79 algae float on water during day time due to the accumulation of oxygen bubbles formed by the process photosynthesis this oxygen is utilized during the life process and respiration and ends they sink during night time so the answer for this question is option b they become buoyant in light due to the accumulation of oxygen bubbles released in photosynthesis question number 80 the rate at which newborn individuals are joining the population by reproduction is known as number of offspring produced per unit of population by reproduction is called as natality or birth rate so the answer is option a natality question number 81 wings of pigeon bat and mosquito shows wings of pigeon bat and mosquito perform same function that is flying but have evolved from separate ancestral populations this similarity developed in distantly related groups as an adaptation for same function is called as convergent evolution so the answer is option b convergent evolution question number 82 which of the following is an opioid drug opm is an opioid drug and it is obtained from white poppy plant papaver somniferum it affects the human body by providing relief against pain as it is the most effective pain killer morphine is another opioid drug morphine is obtained from the latex of poppy plant 
it is a sedative and painkiller used to reduce pain after surgery these are the drugs which bind to opioids receptors in the central nervous system and gastrointestinal tract the effects of drug on human body are the immediate effects of drug are manifested as a reckless behavior vandalism and violence excessive doses can lead to coma and death due to the cerebral hemorrhage respiratory and heart failure so the answer for this question is option d morphine question number 83 the main objective of production of herbicide resistant genetically modified crops is to the main objective of production of herbicide resistant genetically modified crops is to reduce herbicide accumulation in food articles for healthy safety gm plants has been useful in many ways genetic modifications has made crops more tolerant to abiotic stresses reduced reliance on chemical pesticide enhanced nutritional value of food so the answer for this question is option d reduce herbicide accumulation in food articles for health safety question number 84 periplastidal space is found in between two membranes of chloroplast that is space between primary and secondary walls of chloroplast is called as periplastidal space so the correct option is option a question number 85 consider the following statements here there are three statements are given from three statements find out the correct statements osteoporosis is a disease in which bones loses minerals and fibers from its matrix imbalance of hormones like calcitonin parathyroid and sex hormones deficiencies of calcium and vitamin d are the main causes of osteoporosis in man the vertebral column has 33 bones organized as 26 bones the pelvic girdle is made up of three fused bones only so the answer is option c from the given three statements all the three are correct question number 86 the figure given below is a diagrammatic representation of the response of organism to abiotic factors what do a b and c represent respectively in graph the line a represent regulator line b represent conformer and line c represent partial regulator organism that are able to maintain homeostasis by physiological means that ensures constant body temperature are called as regulators organism that are not able to maintain a constant internal temperature are called as conformers so the answer for this question is option d question number 87 distance between the genes and percentage of recombination source crossing over separates genes away from each other so the distance between the genes and percentage of recombination source here direct relationship when genes close together they have high linkage and exhibit low recombination frequencies thus the other option is wrong as it does not show parallel or inverse relationship so the answer for this question is option a question number 88 the end product of ornithine cyclase the entire process of ornithine cycle converts two amino groups one from that is nh4 and another one from asp and a carbon atom from bicarbonate to the relatively non toxic excretion product urea at the cost of four high energy biphosphate bonds to enter the cycle ammonia is converted to carbamyl phosphate so the end product of ornithine cycle is urea 
so the correct option is b question number 89 which of the following are not characteristic future of fabaceae fabaceae or leguminaceae are the third largest family of angiosperm the main characters of this family are polypetalous condition single carpel that is monocarpellary condition perigynous condition and marginal placentation taproot system simple or compound leaves racemous type of inflorescence flowers was zygomorphic imbricate estivation the number of stamen is 10 intros and fruit is legume or pod so the answer for this question is option b flowers are actinomorphic twisted estivation and gamopetals are incorrect statements the last question question number 90 vaccines are vaccines contain dead attenuated form or antigen of pathogen which can be injected to provide immunity towards the pathogen monoclonal antibodies are the homogeneous immunological reagents of defined specifically so that these can be utilized for diagnosis and screening with certainty so the answer for this question is option a vaccines are treated bacteria or viruses or one of their proteins thank you very much for listening our videos those who are watching our videos you are requested to like subscribe and share to your friends all the best